68% of the CEOs in the Fortune 500 companies are Gen X. If you want to learn more, stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Karen McCullough, and I'm really happy today to be talking about my favorite generation, Generation X. Why are they my favorites? Because nobody talks about them. CBS just did a report, this is true, and they talked about the generations, and guess who they forgot? (laughs) They forgot Gen X. Yeah, there's a lot of write-up about this right now. Google it, and you'll find out how upset Gen Xers are that they were left out. So today I thought I would highlight why Generation X is changing the world of work. If 68% of the CEOs in the U.S. are Gen X, 54% of the leaders and managers and companies are now Gen X. So Gen X is really controlling this new way of leadership. So I'd like to share with you some of their characteristics and some of the differences and things that they're bringing into the workforce because they are our leaders. Number one, we know that they're independent. They were independent as kids, and they're bringing that independence into the workplace, which is really cool. Think about the word disruption. This generation loves disruption. They love new ideas. They believe that you can fail. You can fail because failure leads to innovation. So once we begin to fail, we examine that failure, we make changes, and we proceed. So they welcome, they welcome this whole idea of an innovative culture. They're also great communicators. I don't know if they even know that, but the research is showing that this is the generation that their words matter and they're communicating with their teams and they actually like giving presentations. Yay, Gen X. This is a generation that brought mentoring back into the workplace. Remember back to the days of the apprenticeship when people were, whatever the occupation was, they would hang out with a leader or two and they would learn. Gen X loves this and they have brought back mentoring, which is so fabulous for organizations and for young people. So think about that. They're loyal. Think about how long they've been waiting for that baby boomer to quit. Baby boomers, you hang around a long time. This generation is loyal. They see the opportunities and they've been very patient waiting for that baby boomer to uh, move over, step aside, so they can take over leading. So the biggest challenge for most Generation X leaders is this independence that they have, this ability to work by themselves. They think everybody has it. So they feel like they're doing their team and their employees a favor by leaving them alone. Say, come into my office whenever you need help. My door is always open, but don't stay too long and don't come too often. Yeah, that's Gen X. So here's the thing. People today we are finding with millennials, even baby boomers, and now Gen Z, they need more time. They need this generation to slow down to take their patience that they had in waiting for that opportunity in leadership and now to bring it into their leading and managing positions. Because today people want help, they want encouragement, and they want that face-to-face. So what's next for Gen X? What's next for those that are leading or managing a company, but they're bored? They've been working hard for 20-some years. Sometimes, actually, they're called the workhorse of the workforce. Yeah. So what's next for them? Many are bored. Maybe they're going through that midlife crisis sort of a thing. So we have to be aware of that. Today, bosses, owners of businesses and leaders have to give them more challenging work. They have to have conversations with their Gen X leaders and Gen X team, and they have to offer them more career path options. Hey, Gen X, I love you. And I hope the rest of the world does too. And I hope we don't forget about you if another CBS reporter comes around. Remind them that you're here. Hey guys, this is Karen McCullough with another Lesson from the Road.